Keyshawn Wicks stands to the left of Grant Wilson. They'll fake it to Wicks and throw to the wide side. Pass is caught by Kelby Williams, his 24th catch of the year. Western Kentucky bringing some heat. Wilson keeps it. Has plenty of room. It's now a foot race. He's at midfield. Wilson stumbles and caught at the five-yard line. 78 yards. To taking a look at that play as, as you see ODU going quick once again, just trying to line up and makes it look easy. Really easy. Isaiah Page from one yard out with his second touchdown reception of the season. You take a look at this. It's just a kick out to what they call free access on the perimeter, and it's two on one. Western Kentucky on nine for nine. I think they got to get him comfortable, and they got to get him early tosses like this. Little tap pass to Corley, turning the corner. And he is wrapped up by three or four blue jerseys as he got close to the 35-yard line. They'll spot him at the 30 foot. Wes Dorsey, another player in the transfer bowl. Portal is in the lineup at right tackle. Off the left side, they will give it to Elijah Young, and he should have enough for the first down. They'll spot 36 tackles on the year now for Trinidad. Helton comes near side. Nice spinning catch by Corley. And he has run out of bounds at the 41-yard line. Three 100-yard games this year. Lines up at the slot to the wide side. Helton runs that way, and he'll be dropped and loses the football. It's on the turf and picked up by the Monarchs. LaMarion James comes up with the loose football, and Old Dominion is in business with a short field. Yeah, and they tried to move the pocket here for Helton. He doesn't like it. The next thing you know, the walls start closing in. You've got to secure that football. Those are those negative plays I said you've got to stay away from. And Denzel Lowry, number eight, with the forced fumble as, as Helton's going down to the ground and now great field position. No star for Virgil Marshall on the field as Old Dominion trying to get to the end zone here, and they do so. Kadarius Callaway from five yards out. They want to run the football, rely on these two running backs. Heavy RPO come off of the run game. Coach at Georgia Southern, who is here in attendance today. Of course, the grandson of longtime head coach Kim Hill. They'll hand it off here, off the right side. That one goes to Davion Irvin Poindexter. And Austin Reed is in attendance. The two-year starter led conference U.S. Seven up on the line of scrimmage for Old Dominion on third down and six. Helton to throw over the middle. It's picked off. Picked off by Old Dominion. That'll be a pick six. FIU at one for two for four yards. Rushed four times for 23 yards. Hand off left side. That one goes to Elijah Young, the team's leading rusher. Young in motion. They'll throw here. Velcamp pressure comes and he's dropped. Mario Thompson came flying it in. The freshman. You see off to the left side of your screen right there. And he just dips underneath in the big gap before the guard and the and in the offensive left tackle right there. Thompson, just a true freshman. Good closing speed and burst to the quarterback. So first down and 10. Messer comes in motion. Belkamp throws near side. Pass is caught there by Burke around the 20-yard line. Lost the football. Did it come out as an ODU football? Waiting for the signal, and it is. The Monarchs come up with another turnover. Western Kentucky just cannot get out of their own way. It took strong hands to secure that football, and that ball looks like it is clearly out. As Burt's trying to pull the ball away from the Marion James, who has been all over the place in coverage here today. Leading it 21 to nothing. Big hole off the left side. Wicks over the 30 to the 35 and dropped at the 36-yard line. Just a slow give right there. It's a really, really nice read. By oh, I think this is four down territory with this line of game. We'll have to worry about it here as Wilson will take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Old Dominion, an 11.
seven yard scamper from Grant Wilson. Well, you do have a free rusher off the edge there, but again, the last two series for Western Kentucky, they've really targeted Grant Wilson. Pressure comes, Veltkamp going deep, has Messer, makes the catch in Old Dominion territory around the 44-yard line. Well, as we talked about, they were selling out with a lot of bodies near the box, which creates one-on-one -on -one opportunities on the perimeter. That time, Messer, number... Long four, short five for Western Kentucky. Going for it all in the end zone, passes, caught one-handed grab from Dalvin Smith. What a catch! Dalvin Smith, six foot three, 188. Lamarian James, five foot ten. You got the height, you got the length, and you've got the tremendous ball skills to haul that ball. Bell camp to throw, trying to stay hot, and he does. Pass is caught out over the 35 to the 39. This time it goes to Jimmy Holiday. Another attempt at the back shoulder throw. This one's not thrown as accurately. In fact, Velkamp gets away with throwing one, allowing it get to the inside. But credit Holiday for going up and getting the ball against number 17, Nolan Johnson, who's actually in good position. Velkamp stands in there and is dropped at the 35-yard line. A loss of four. See him from a stand-up position right there. Converts speed to power, collapses the pocket, and that's just really good with his hands, quickness, a little bit of a bend off the edge right there. Camp looking, coming near side, lofts it up, and now one is picked off. An easy interception on the back end for Taj Rael. think Veltkamp even saw him. He sees Jamarian James fall down. So he thinks he's got an easy pitch and catch for a touchdown here. Doesn't realize that Rahel is coming off of the hash mark right there. He just doesn't see him. He thinks this is a touchdown. You see Lamarian James on the ground right there. And what a missed opportunity. And now... Veltkamp takes it himself, breaks a tackle into the open field inside the 40-yard line. They will drop him down around the 37-yard line. I love this backfield action. They made it look like it was going to be QB lead to the left side, to the strong side of the formation. And then Veltkamp cuts back to the... Veltkamp stands in there and... Oh, another one-handed catch. Dalvin Smith to the end zone. Are you kidding me, Dalvin? I think the routine plays routinely. He just made the spectacular play look routine. What a pluck. Wilson, Page, stays on his feet down the sidelines. He's to the 30. He'll be pushed out of bounds inside the 25-yard line. 42 yards in total. Well, he throws right into the pressure, right into the blitz. You've got one-on-one -on, -one on the outside, and that leads to leak out. Hilltoppers bring in five. They create some space for Wilson. He will take it into the end zone. His second rushing touchdown of the day for Grant Wilson. This one goes for 21. You take a look, you see the front door just open up right there. Now, you're in man-to-man -man defense. There's nobody to account for the quarterback. Grant Wilson just takes what's given. Six up at the line of scrimmage for ODU on third and four. Belt camp. Quick hitter near side has his man Young. Jumps over one defender, breaks a tackle, touchdown Hilltoppers. What a run after the catch for Elijah Young. He hurdled Sean Asbury to stay alive and then broke another tackle, 37 yards. In the gaps and they needed to get back out wide and they couldn't do it. It was too much ground to cover. And Elijah Young not only secures the football, leapfrogs the defender. 27 of 32 for 250 and three touchdowns. Yeah.
I mean, he's made a couple of errors, but with his experience level, you'd expect that. And now an interception of the back end by Anthony Johnson gives the football right back to his team. One play and the offense back on the field. All Conference USA honorable mention number four, Anthony Johnson. And this is intended for Ray Melo Murphy, but this ball's just thrown way too far to the inside, allowing Johnson to run the right. Second down and 10. Blitz comes. Bell can't try to dodge some blue jerseys. Does so for a moment. Slings it near side. It's caught. Reception made by Jimmy Holiday. And he stays on his feet. He's inside the 40. They will spot him at the 39-yard line. Well done by Caden Veltkamp. And this is all Veltkamp's pocket mobility and ability to extend the play, get flushed, and find Holiday. Because their place of selection on third and fourth and short has been abysmal tonight. They'll throw here. Velcamp to the end zone. Touchdown! Dalvin Smith with his third touchdown grab of the game. Really impressed right here with the timing of this throw. Velcamp drops back, plants his back foot, and drives the ball down the seam. Pressure comes right up the middle. Volkamp throws, passes, caught, and loose football at the 40. Scooped up by Old Dominion. They will have it inside the 35-yard line. Marcus Knight, right place, right time for the Hilltoppers. Well, let's see if this was a catch. Let's see if he secures the football. That looks to be a catch yeah. to me. And, and look at the body language and the action of Burt afterwards. He knows it. It's good effort coming in from the inside out. Number 15 there, Wayne Matthews, who had gone out of the ball game with an injury. Looked to be serious until he was able to come back in, picking up right where he left off. That's his third force fumble of the year for Matthews. What a play. He missed from 47 earlier. Good clean snap. Kick on the way. It is blocked. It is loose on the turf, and Western Kentucky will have it. Three-man rush. Belkamp going up top. Catch is made at the 30-yard line. Jimmy Holiday keeps the dream alive for Western Kentucky. There is a flag on the play near where the catch was made. Nice throw by. We had the clock on right there during the course of that play. Third and goal for the five. Veltkamp swallowed up and dropped back at the 15-yard line. And the clock continues to move, but it'll be fourth down. And now a sack. Well, and he's unblocked off the edge to the backside right there. And when Veltkamp pulled up, he pulled up right in to the lane of Matthews right there. You got to be able to account for that unblocked defense. Dalvin Smith, top of your screen. Here we go, fourth down. Veltkamp looking to the end zone. Caught, touchdown, K.D. Hutchinson. When you see 17, Dalvin Smith on the outside, he runs back end line, and then you see 15, K.D. Hutchinson, really just work the real the wheel route where he goes out into the flat and turns up, running down the sideline, and they just lose track of him. You see number 18, Mario Thompson, the freshman linebacker, who's been utilized as a pass rusher here tonight, lost in coverage. Old Dominion gets the first crack. Wilson. Pocket collapses, and he collapses at the 30. Kylan Gidry comes up with a big play and a loss of five. Snap is good, and it's blocked again. It is picked up by Western Kentucky, and they will have it with an opportunity to win it in overtime. Three touchdowns today for Western Kentucky. It is third down. Pressure comes. Veltkamp dumps it off to Messer underneath. Trying to break a tackle, and he does. Stays on his feet. He's out of bounds inside the 15. Down to the 12-yard line. Had him for a moment. He couldn't get him to the turf. A gain of 13. Pressure once again in the face of Veltkamp. And Messer is just that 
from 29 yards out. The kick is on the way. And the Hilltoppers have done it. Rallied from 28 down to win it. 38-35 Western Kentucky.